Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to edit videos for YouTube on your iPad Pro. So right, we need to get a video editing software. In order to do that, you load up the App Store and a free video editing software, which is really easy to use, would be the iMovie app. So iMovie is completely free to download. It is made by Apple. However, it is a very limited software. So this software is useful for if you want to add, let's say, music in the background or you want to you know cut certain parts out so let's say you were speaking and you messed up the speaking you could cut that out with the iMovie app if you want to speed up footage or add some filters iMovie is great but any more than that iMovie isn't really the software for you and here's the thing when it comes to editing videos on your iPad Pro if you want to do high quality production your yeah, iPad Pro isn't the best device there are alternative video editors but they are quite limited I used to edit videos on my iPad Pro using this app called Pinnacle Pro However, that one, yeah, I wouldn't touch that one. And then you also have Luma Fusion, which is £30. They're great and all, but for the price, not really worth it. If you want to do proper video editing, you know, step up your game, use the Mac with Final Cut Pro or a Windows with uh, Sony Vegas. All right, so once we have iMovie, let's load it up. And from here, you're going to see the projects page. So you'll see all of your projects. And from here, you're going to tap on plus because you won't have any. And then you, this will create a new project. So we're going to tap on movie. Uh, trailer adds like all this background footage. And you don't want it. So we'll tap on movie. This allows us to add our own footage. So from here we need to select the videos we want. So what we're going to do is we'll just tap on video. And you'll see all of the videos which are on your iPad Pro. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we want to select the videos. Keep in mind, if for whatever reason you have videos on the Files app or you have videos on an external storage device, you will not be able to add them when you first create the project. I don't know why, it's just something iMovie does. I will show you how to add that right after. So what you're going to do is you just want to load up uh, a clip or clips you want to add. In order to add one clip, you tap on the one you want and you see the tick, tap on the tick and now it's going to be added. If you want multiple, you just tap on, you know, the second one, tick, third one, tick. There is no way to add multiple ones. If you do like a slide down, you can see that doesn't work. You know, two finger tapping, you know, it doesn't work. You need to do one by one uh, tapping on each clip you want to add. Once you have added everything you want, you see a create movie, tap into it. And now from here, you should see everything has been loaded up. So how this works is first of all, most important tool is two fingers. So with two fingers, if you Pinch them together like so, you can zoom out and you can see all of the clips right here. If you ever need to zoom in, do the reverse like so. Use one finger to slide around and you can see all of the clips which you added into the Final Cut Pro app. All right, if you ever want to add more, you tap on the plus at the top right, so tap on that. And you can see media and audio. So audio, if you go to something like sound effects, it will use default sound effects which are stored on your iPad Pro. You also have my music, which is music from the music application. So any music you have downloaded there, you can add right here. You can also see here files and from files, you can select you know, any audio file you would like to on your iPad. So tap on back here and you can see if it's stored on the iCloud drive, those music files, you go there on my iPad. Keep in mind, if you need to add music files yourself, you will need to you know, provide them yourself. So that's just something to keep in mind. All right, so let's go back here, back again. If we go to soundtracks, these are default soundtracks, which our movie allows. So if you want to add those, you can add them. Then we have media. So if we go to files, same story. Uh, if you have any, um, you know, music, not music, you know, videos from you know, the downloads or videos from anywhere else on the files app you can add them and that does include any external storage devices you have you can add those footage from there and of course video here to add the videos photos to add the photos backgrounds these are default backgrounds if you do want them all right let's close out this so let's do a simple cut so in order to cut what we're going to do is we'll slide over and first thing we need to do is we need to find the area in the video we want to cut. So let's say uh, if we go here, I'm going to zoom in. Let's play this for a little bit. And I don't think there's any actual mistakes in this. So we'll just say, you know, these next couple of seconds 
I don't say anything when I'm meant to say something. So in order to initiate a cut, all we're going to do is we need to do a split at the beginning of the cut and then another split at the end of the cut, right? So let's say, if I zoom in here, this is the beginning of the blunder. So in order to cut that out, we're going to tap on actions and split and you can see it will do a split right here. And then we want to navigate to when the blunder ends. So let's say here, tap again, split again. And now we have this isolated clip right here. So this clip is all blunder. Let's say I, mean, I was making mistakes. So what we're going to do is to cut it out. You see the delete button at the bottom right. Tap on the delete. And just like that, we've deleted the blunder. So let's play it now. So you can see it cut out any mistakes that were right there. All right, let's say you want to speed stuff up or even slow it down. Tap on the clip. And from here, you're going to see speed. Now, if you just change it, it's going to change the speed of the entire clip. Now, maybe something you want to do, but what if you want to just, you know, speed up a certain area of this video? So let's set this to one time speed, which is the default. And then we're going to do the same tip when it comes to, you know, cutting. But instead of deleting the clip, we're going to modify it. All right. So let's say I want the speed up to start here and end here. So what we're going to do is we'll navigate to where we want the speed up to start. We'll tap on actions, split. And then we'll find where we want the speed up to end. Let's say here. Tap on it again and split again. Then we're going to tap on that clip here. This is, this is the part we want to speed up now. Tap on speed, and you can speed it up like so. So this beginning area here, full speed, and you can see this part is in two times speed. So that's how you would speed something up. If you want to add overlay text, you just tap on titles, add the text you want. If you want the text to show up for a certain time frame, again, actions, split where you want the text to start. So we'll just do that for the sake of the video. Split where you want the title to end. Tap on the area you want that uh, title to drop. Tap on titles, enter that one in. And then same applies for everything here, filters and volume. So, you know, this is a very basic uh, software, uh, as you may know. What if you want to add music to the background? Though? So we'll tap on the plus, tap on the plus, audio, and we'll use some default audio. So let's say this one here, you will need to download it, and then you tap on plus. All right, so now it's added the music into the background. So listen to this. And I don't know if the audio is actually going in. Yeah, let's hear it. Okay, you can hear the audio. I'm going to skip to the middle because it seems like there's a big fade in. So we'll go here. So you can hear the music is in the background and the footage is on top. However, here's the thing. If you're using your own music or even if you're using the default music, there's going to be a situation where the music is going to be louder than your gameplay or you're speaking. That's an issue, so you want to get the balance right. So tap on the audio clip here, and you see the volume, you can set this in or out. So I would recommend you just set the volume lower, and then you set your voice louder. You don't want a situation where your voice is too loud so you can't even hear the music, but you also don't want a situation where the music is competing with your voice, so if the music is the same noise level as you speaking, not good. If it's like slightly bit less loud than you speaking, not good. You want it so your voice can be clearly heard, but you have that background music that you can also hear. So you want to get that, you know, uh, you know, combination correct. That's all you need to do. Uh, play it back. If you were watching it and you could understand every single word and there was no part where you had to like worry about things, you're good to go. You have to consider that at the beginning of the track, the music may be quieter, but in the middle, it may be louder. Therefore, just make sure throughout the whole video, the music doesn't get louder than your voice. Okay, so let's say here that the music is, you can see, in the entire of the clip. But let's say I only want it to go to the middle. So you tap on the area you want, uh, to the music to stop, tap on actions, and split. Now here's the deal, when it comes to Final Cut, uh, Final Cut, iMovie, everything is attached together. So if I were to just delete this, then guess what? From here on out, there'll be no music. 
and if I wanted, let's say, this clip to have no music, but the rest to have music, then we wouldn't be able to do that because you'd have to add music on top. So the trick you do is you mute the music when you don't want any music, and then you have the music playing when you want the music playing. How do you do that? Okay, so let's say I want this whole clip to have no music. So if you drag it to like the middle here, it will auto lock on to the end of the clip. You tap on the music, actions, split, and now you can see this clip has our own separate track. And we go to mute, uh, volume, and we just set that to zero. And so now there'll be no music playing here. There'll be music playing here, and there'll be music playing here. So that is, you know, the main fundamentals when it comes to editing. How do we export? All right, so when we export, we're gonna tap on done, and it'll save the project. The project will also automatically save. That's just something to keep in mind. So it's not like if you close out the app, the, the footage will be lost. Uh, some recent changes may be lost, but just always tap on done when you're done. Okay, so if you tap on the uh, icon, which looks like YouTube, that will actually just play the video. And you can see what you've done. Like so. You can see that in the timeline, of course. And the important part is the share. You tap on share. Save video. And now... The movie will export. How long this takes depends on your processing power. And it'll just add all of the effects, all the music, all that good stuff which you added on. And of course there's one more step which is how to upload this to YouTube. I'll cover that as well. So you can see your movie was exported. We'll tap on OK. If you go back one more time, you should see your product right here. So if you don't want to render right away or export right away, you can always tap on your product to the later date. And then tap on the share and you'll be good to go. If you're ever done with the project, tap on delete and delete the project and the reason why is because if you don't delete the project uh, the storage taken from uh from you know having all the footage in uh will, will mount up over time and iMovie will start to take up a ton of storage on your ipad so it's just something to keep in mind okay let's go to the photos and you can see this is that final rendered video so you can see i've added all of the effects and stuff like that let's see if you can do the music as well Go here. About that longer wait. Speed. And you can see that there's a speed up effect. I'm gonna move over to here. Oh crap. Let's move over to here. And it seems like I muted that part of the video. Now cool stuff. Okay. So the music was way too loud. I think you know you you couldn't hear it. So if you ever wanted to, you rendered it wrong, you could always go back in and increase the volume of the music. The reason why I couldn't hear anything is because top right here I had the mute on. So yeah, not the brightest. Okay, so what if you want to upload this to YouTube? Well, it's as simple as loading up the YouTube app, and you tap on plus, video, you select the video, and then it will ask you for all the details. Make sure you add a title, a description. You don't need to add tags. There's a myth that tags help you on YouTube. Look at my channel. No tags. I run another channel called Saunders Tech. Has 120,000 subscribers. You can look it up. Same voice because it's well, the same person. And you will notice that there are no tags. I don't use tags, okay? And I have 120k subs. So clearly they don't do anything. So you don't need to worry about that. Just make sure you had a good title, a description which explains the video. If you skip out on the description, trust me, you will never get views. Well, I mean, you may if you give 10 years of work, but why work 10 years when you can work for one and get the same result, right? Also, another thing as well is make sure you upload the videos unlisted or private. And the reason why is you want to add a thumbnail later and you can add the thumbnail with the youtube studio app this is free on the app store you can download it and youtube studio app gives you all your analytics for your youtube channel you definitely want to use that if you are uh, use um when you want to become a content creator and then from there you can add custom thumbnails like you know when you see a video like this you can see that was created that's a thumbnail this is a thumbnail all that good stuff so if you ever want to add your own thumbnails well, look i know that guy's on this tech you can see if you ever want to create your own thumbnails you can use the ipad uh, if you ever want a dedicated tutorial on that, let me know and maybe I'll make a tutorial on how to create your own custom thumbnails. Alright, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Uh, share this video if you have any friends who also want to do YouTube. Bye bye.